First, we have to make sure we have the geometry selected. And then we click on create new description. And uh, this is kind of backwards. So the description name right here is gonna be the portion of the head or whatever you're working on. For example, in this case, it'll be like the sideburns or the eyebrows, or the top of the head or the back of that. If you wanted like different type of hair in those sections of the body. Okay, so if you want to find a hair, like let's say you're doing hairline hair on the front, bang hair, then you could create a description for that, right? And then this collection is for a group of hair types on one hairstyle. That makes sense. So you could say hairstyle A, hairstyle B, hairstyle C. That's if you want to be very detailed and want to control the type of hair in those sections. So I'm just going to leave this how it is, collection and description, just leave it like that. I'm going to keep on splines and then I'm going to go over here to placing and shaping guides. I should prefer this. Sometimes doing groomable splines might be better. It'll scatter hairs and stuff for you all over so you don't have to hand place the guides. But I, I like to hand place them myself. So I'm going to use splines. Go into here and do create. So if you do the other ones, it'll automatically scatter a bunch of splines for you, but I'm gonna hand place them here. So what we're gonna do is, let's make this bigger actually. The size does matter. If it's too small, it has a hard time creating a dense bunch of hairs, okay? So I don't wanna go larger. So I'm gonna go here. Here. And what I do is I kind of scatter hairs along the hairline first. And I kind of try to spread it, distribute it evenly. So yeah, you plus grab this hair with this plus sign to add curves. And then see this right here that has two curves with a move kind of icon on it. This is a hair sculpting tool. So you could go in here and you can start. It's just a default my brush tool. So you can make it larger by holding down B, click and dragging. And what's nice about this too is the length is locked, so it won't get longer. And uh, I could add more curves. And what's nice about it, having already placed some curves, is it's gonna try to find the nearest curves to it and try, if there's a couple curves close to it, it's gonna try to do the average of the curves next to it. So if I click right here, it's gonna try to do the average, but it's closer to this one, so it's gonna lean towards this one, but I kinda want this shape. Right click it, do copy shape, and right click and paste it. Just gonna copy that. Try to do the hairline here, or the we want to place more guides along um, parts. So if we're going to make a part here, we're going to have to place them along that line as well. And action doesn't really like undos, so um, it doesn't really work. Yeah, and if you ever have hairs that are scattering in a weird way, it just means you probably need another guide curve there close to it. Like if I place a guide curve somewhere, 
and it's reacting weird. It needs all of those hairs that will be out of there are gonna react weird as well. So there's a section that's acting weird. You just probably need a guide curve there. Hmm. Let's see. There it goes. I just need to up this density. Goes. So, um, if I want to, I can add a lot of density, but I try to keep it kind of low so it's not too dense. If it's too dense, it kind of gets a little slow. So I just want enough where I can see the volume and kind of the overall shape that this hair is going to make. Okay. If I want to hide the hairs, I just click on this drop down next to the eye. And I could turn off this checkbox for update preview automatically. This eyeball right here. Sorry. This is the eye open. This is the eye closed. If I close this, eye closed, and it hides the hairs. If I want to see the eyes, I hit this eye right here. When I have this update preview automatically turned on, whenever I make a change, it'll update this. But if it turned off, it won't update until I hit the eyeball. Okay. Eyeball open. And that's kind of a nice feature to turn off because sometimes you want to make changes and it takes a while for it to regenerate. So you don't want it to just be regenerating and refreshing every time you make a small change. If you want to hide the hairs, just keep the sidewalk closed. Open C. And then see this curve and I next to it, that's to turn on and off the guide curves that we, we drew on. So right now we're working on that first description, that first hair type. If you want to add another hair type for like the sideburns separately, we could go over here to description and create a, create a description. And we could create another hair section by doing that. And uh, how you jump between hair descriptions is by this drop down right here. And you could, by using this, can control, hey, is it, do I want to preview all of my hair descriptions, all my hairs, or do I only want to preview the current hair section I'm working on right now. I'm gonna adjust that right here, okay?